Is this hair going to run? No. Salutations, it's called your family. It's, it's me, your boy, PA Cutie Pie. After months of me going, I want to do these more often. We're back at it again with a brand new show called Sickiest Bittiest. Now, for those of you who are confused, like, what the hell, big man? Can you just show me the top five, the top ten, the honorable mentions and get it over and done with? No. It's a reboot, super quick, sick fit started at a time on YouTube where every single YouTuber was into top 10 lists or just lists in general. Top 10 fashion trends for summer. Top 10 skater inspired streetwear outfits. Skaters hated that video by the way. How to style top 10 hype be streetwear anime fights. Fun watch mojo. No more top tens. What I want to do with it is make it a little bit more freeform, throw some more fits in there, and just make it more of a community based thing rather than like leaderboards or something along them lines. You know what I mean? I'm kind of making this up as we go along. Before we jump into today's sick fits, if you want to check out the Instagram page for even more inspiration, then follow the team at sick fits. And if you like what I do here, you like the idea of a guy wearing a Halo 3 t shirt, have some kind of authority on fashion, then you can always press that little subscribe button. You're the best, spot me. Let's jump into the fits. And now for our feature presentation. So we have Oakley glasses, an MS shirt, Levi jeans, and the Birkenstocks. I like the outfit, blues across the board, a little bit of a preppy look. I don't know if I'm about that Birkenstock life just because like my feet are butters. So next fit, vintage racing shirt, H&M trousers, Gucci side bag, checkerboard vans, classic combo, subtle flex with the Gucci bag, but the way that you're holding the phone is giving me anxiety, big man. Cotton trade rugby jersey, Playboy bucket hat, H&M cargoes, all black Tims. Fam, I have to respect it. On a nice night out, decided to go bowling, but wait, the opportunity arises. Gotta get the fit off. Just take the picture, drip weights for no man. Thrifted neon beanie, vintage Lee denim jacket, a H&M t-shirt, jeans that he DIY'd himself in the Air Force One with neon laces. I really do like the neon aspect in this outfit. Sometimes it can be really overdone. Subtlety is key and I like it. Although I'm not sure how I feel about the jeans. Not because of the color of them or anything like that. That's absolutely sick. It's just rips in jeans in general. I know this is like a big massive thing to rip or not to rip, but there's definitely something here. Levi jacket, Uniqlo chinos. The chain is homemade, and that's a custom shirt, my guy. Hold tight the wallet chain. The aesthetics has never been more aesthetics. Sponsored post with the Coke bottle, but in all seriousness, it's a clean outfit. Next up, beanie and trousers from Factory, which is an Aussie fast fashion store. A hard rock calf sweater, white Air Force Ones, and shades from AliExpress. Budget boys for life, man. I respect the honesty. and the grind see what i did there but it's a clean outfit and it goes to show that you don't need gucci prada louis vuitton saint laurent versace raf simon rick owens fendi burberry dior chanel moschino cdg mcq amani kenzo montclair cp company stone island off-white ralph lauren or tommy hilfiger to make an outfit look good mad thrasher bucket hat thrifted button-up shirt h&m turtleneck thrifted LL Bean jeans, some B Air Forces, and for the accessories, we've got a shower ring and various accessories. Vibe check, I fully FW with this outfit. It's like somebody said, 90s weeb, but make it fashion. And my man somehow managed to get on the TV in the background, like what? Is that real big man? Minimal tie dye hoodie, black military vest, thrifted old navy jeans, and a pair of Converse golf Fleur and a tote bag. Hold tight the dye tie. Actually, we shall only refer to tie-dye as dye-tie from now on. The dye-tie with the vest is a very good combination. It breaks up the boldness of the hoodie a little bit there. Clean outfit, make toilet selfies great again. Next, we've got the Supreme Beanie, a Tommy Hilfiger denim jacket, distressed thrifted jeans, and the origin story Jordan 1s. But wait, there's also a burrito in this picture as well. Obviously, we've got that double trouble with the denim jacket. The hot air balloons in the background look pretty as frick. The ripped 
denim jeans. Show me your knees. Very nice outfit. I hope you enjoyed the burrito. A thrifted vintage Primark t-shirt. A gold Casio watch. Lee Cooper work trousers. A leather belt chain that he got from some key cutters. And the Reebok workout pluses. Firstly, that hair looks silky smooth and clean. Is that L'Oreal, big man? The dad look will always reign supreme. All hell the dad look. Long live the dad look. Tuck in that t-shirt to assert your dominance. 10 out of 10. But wait, how did you get that much sand in your shoe? SMH, SMH. Thrifted bucket hat, Kelly Hansen fleece, thrifted Levi's, the CDG Converse, and a Supreme bag. I feel like one of those game show hosts when they tell you what the prizes are. A Kelly Hansen jacket, a trip to the Isle of Fernando. I digress. It's Cozy Boys forever. Anything that's a fleece is automatically Cozy Boys. I love the outfit, hate iPhone camera quality. Yo, shades, thrifted. Vintage Nevada Palace varsity jacket. Vintage Guns N' Roses t-shirt. Vintage Levi denim. And some high top Chuck 70s. My man thrifted shades of grey over here. Stealing your girl grease lightning style. Vibe check, this is it chief. Thrifted Hugo Boss sweater. Kappa waist back. Grey striped trousers corduroy flat cap, CDG Converse, and he's put here that the yellow door is from Homebase. However, I'm not entirely sure that Homebase have a door section. If anything, I'd say a B&Q or a Wix would supply that kind of door. SMH, SMH fam. Moving on to the composition of the photo. If you're not matching your outfit with a door that you find in the city, are you even a fashion influencer? It's a clean look, I like the colors, but I dare you to ring that doorbell, big man. Next fit, a fisherman's beanie, Tommy Hilfiger blazer, weekday shirt, Alix belt, Uniqlo trousers, Uniqlo socks, and Doc Martins. This is one of them suits, but make it streetwear type outfits. I'd like to call it smart casual, but fashion snobs will bite my head off. The casual suit look is underrated, man. A sophisticated man about town, looking like he's going to his creative office space for a startup app company. Mad. Successful. Dressed apart. Because work is boring t-shirt, a thrifted Columbia shirt, Dickies trousers, Adidas shoes. I love each individual piece here. Just combining all of these different vintage elements. The dad hat, the checkered shirt, the graphic t-shirt, the trousers, the dad shoes, relics from a time forgotten. Only 90s kids will remember. My guy, spud me. Slow time merch t-shirt, H&M long sleeves, Zara trousers, golf Fleur converses. Classic match the t-shirt with the shoe combination. Long sleeve t-shirt over a short sleeve t-shirt is back in fashion. Watch this space for sure. Next outfit, a vintage Ralph Lauren polo jacket, a white sweater from his dad's wardrobe, Corduroy trousers also from the dad's wardrobe. Nike socks and care for sandals. And one good boy. Buy Saturn's rings. What do we have here? The actual leaning tower of Pisa. Love the beige tone combo play. A Ralph Lauren jacket, subtle flex. Bro, it's a very sturdy outfit. Vintage champion hoodie. Thrifted yellow pinstripe trousers and Converse Chuck Taylors. Channeling his inner Beetlejuice. Pinstripe for the win, crazy hair. Fam, you know what you were doing. That black and yellow combination as well. Wiz Khalifa back in 2013 would have put a cease and desist on you. I vibe with the outfit. Now make way for the champion hoodie, Adidas popper trousers, and a misbehaved scarf. Fam, allow me for a second because I fully Fully vibe with this outfit. Oversized hoodie for maximum cozy boy. What's that, like a double XL? Misbehaved scarf in the red to complement the gray. Stands out, blazing like the red sun because Russia and the Eastern Bloc is fashion as ever. Adidas trousers with the poppers because the 80s and the 90s was peak fashion, which also corresponds with the whole Russian fashion scene. If you want my actual dissertation on this, then just let me know. But for now, this is actually my favorite fit. But wait. There's more. Thrifted t-shirt, dad's button-up shirt, thrifted trousers. My man looking like he came out straight off a Wes Anderson film. It's a compliment, don't get it twisted. A vintage Nike crew neck, cropped trousers from the thrift and custom white vans. <sighs> My picture's not loading. I like the fit. I understand people don't want to show their face, but I beg you don't pixelate it. This is sick fits, not crime watch, my guy. But I like the fit. Raised by society beanie, because we live in a society. Cold laundry puffer jacket, ASOS turtleneck, Prada bag, monkey trousers, 
and the Balenciaga Triple S Flex Fado Hua in fashion. My man is winter prepared and a fashion month prepared by the looks of it. It's running close to puffer season, but wait, this outfit is sick fits approved, but did you screenshot this picture from your Instagram? Face with steam from nose emoji, big man. Vintage Nautica button up shirt, Tommy Hilfiger overalls, and the Vans Golden Coast Authentics. You have fully inspired me to start the hashtag bring back dungarees overalls forever because this is a hard look. This is how you're meant to do overalls. It's over for them. A H&M t-shirt and a black sweatshirt underneath. Vintage jogging bottoms. Black and white Air Forces and a Dior headscarf. Big man outfit, monochrome for the win. And quite frankly, if you're not matching your outfit with your favorite Pokemon, then I don't wanna know. Put some respect on Pan Cham's name fam. Hot Topic flannel jacket. A subliminal David t-shirt. A Hot Topic belt. The Dickies flex fit and the Air Forces one. Fresh out and a teenage dirtbag music video. I love this fit. It's an absolute grunge vibe. Low key fashion inspiration. You've done it. Mad. That was it for Sick Fits. Don't know why. I, what am I doing here? This is the new kind of format that I want to do with Sick Fits. I don't want to just sit there and talk about an outfit for like hours on end. Quick fire. We have evolved this series into our higher states of being. Can you hear those birds in the background, fam? And to be honest, I enjoy this a lot more. Again, thank you to every single person who submitted into Sick Fits. These episodes would literally be impossible without you. If you want to see even more Sick Fits, then follow the Instagram page. I try to upload on there every single day. Tag Sick Fits in any of your pictures to get featured on that page. And there will also be instructions further on down the line of how to apply to a next Sick Fits video. I'm going to leave Sick Fits open season because I think the themes were good and everything for like clickbait and keywords and all sorts of algorithm related stuff but really i just want to have fun with the series again let me know in the comment section which one of these outfits was your favorite or just leave some f's in the chat if you like this video then give it a like if you dislike this video give it a dislike again if you like what i do here and you want to see more then consider pressing that little subscribe button and that bell notification if you want to get notified when i upload a brand new video sometimes thank you for watching my video bye